Hi everyone! A little while ago I did a tiny house challenge and some of you liked it so much that you asked for another challenge. So this time I'm using a tiny accordion sketchbook that I did myself. I observed the one that I bought and I figured it must be pretty easy to make. So I decided to try it and actually pick the paper that I wanted for the medium that I was going to use, which is pretty neat. And when I was done making this sketchbook, I realized it was really easy to make. And I decided to make a class and share with all of you how to make it. So if you're interested, I just posted it on Skillshare and then I'll share the link down below with you guys. And also because I recently reached 5,000 subscribers, I wanted to thank you all for coming and checking out my videos regularly. So I'm going to give you a free link for the first 10 people who click on this link. You can check out the class for free. However, if you guys aren't a Skillshare subscriber, I'm going to put a second link. And that's my personal reference link. So anybody who checks out my class from that link, you'll get a free two month subscription to Skillshare. That way you can also check out all the different classes there for free, which is pretty cool. And there are lots and lots of neat classes. If you're bored at home with your kids these days, you can easily make this sketchbook with them. It's fun. They'll be happy to have a tiny little sketchbook to draw in and they'll be very proud of themselves. So anyway, in this sketchbook, I ended up using some Arsh hot press paper and that's because I wanted to use my dots pen again and draw flowers, ink them with my dots pen and then color them with watercolor. The smoothness of the paper is great for inking and then because it's also watercolor paper then it does take watercolor really nicely. So I didn't want to spend too much time with the sketches and finding reference photos. I didn't want to draw real flowers, not made up flowers. So I went on Pixabay and then I typed flower in the search bar. That's it. And I just wanted to take random photos, but something that would fit in that tiny format. It's two inches by two inches. So it's really small. And I got pretty much half of the photos from that first page of result that I got and then a few more from page two and three and that's it. I wanted to uh, restrain myself as much as I could. Once I saved all 20 photos, I started sketching and this time I did it straight onto the paper. I didn't want to try on a sketchbook and then transfer it. I just wanted to go as fast as I could because it's 20 drawings, 20 inkings, 20 watercolorings. I knew it was going to take some time. Actually, the whole thing took me about seven hours. So I did it over two days, but I sketched all the flowers all at once. And then I started using my dots pen to ink and it's, it's fun. It's a lot of fun, but I don't recommend it on tiny drawings like that because I noticed that when I was doing it, because there's so many tiny details, I was very tense and I really grasped my pen really hard. And so my wrist right now is very sore and it was not very easy to uh, draw on the small format with the dots pen. It's, I think you get a better result on a larger format really. In any case, once I was done with that, I used a hair dryer to make sure the ink was nice and dry because this particular ink takes quite a while to dry and I didn't want to smudge it when I erased my pencil marks and I didn't want to smudge it when I used water. It is waterproof, but you really need to make sure that it's nice and dry. And especially using watercolor paper, often the ink tends to uh, take a little longer to dry. So once I was done with the hair dryer, I erased all my pencil marks. I wrote the name of the flowers. Most of them I got on Pixabay. It said the, the names, a few of them doesn't, and I'm not very familiar with flower names. So if you guys notice that some don't have names and you know the names, please feel free to tell me what they are. So when I was done with all that, then it was time for the watercolor. I use my White Knights watercolors. I don't use them very often. And since I had them handy, that's what I used. And it was a lot of fun. But I noticed once again, I did the same thing with the tiny houses. The first few paintings were okay. I didn't like them very much. And as I kept on inking and then using watercolors, then I guess, I guess I gained confidence maybe and or I was all warmed up <laughs> and then I thought it looked better and better as it progressed. So the first few pages aren't my favorite. But then towards the end, I thought it looked better and better. But I guess it's normal because, you know, it's something I don't do very often, drawing on tiny little sketchbooks like this. So the first few pages are just practice pages, really. 
So let me know if you have any favorite flowers in there or what's your favorite flower in life. I really enjoy doing those tiny challenges and since I made quite a few tiny sketchbooks with different types of papers, I'll probably do more pretty soon so stay tuned. So thank you all for stopping by, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here please consider subscribing to this channel. Remember to check out my class if you're interested in making this sketchbook, again the link is down below and you guys have a wonderful day, I'll see you soon, bye bye.